Hey everyone, Buddy here, back with another video. Let's take a deeper look into what kind of company Apple has built, what they've done well, and how they've maintained their spot as arguably one of the best tech companies in the world. First, let's take a look at their software, iOS. It's known for simplicity, polishness, but very feature-packed. Now, over the years, they've implemented numerous new features, however, they do so in a creative and clever way. Apple's way of supplying iOS with new features is genius. They either think of a new idea or copy off another, but either way, they polish it down to be as simple and as intuitive to use as possible. And if they stole it, they make sure to make it uniquely theirs and not an exact copy, obviously to avoid being sued. The point that is genius about it is this. Apple has a row of updates that they're going to give to iOS and it's just a matter of time and making sure that the bugs are out and it's easy to use. So by releasing one or maybe a couple new features in each iOS update or iPhone release, they allow the user to get accustomed to it and incorporate it into their daily lives. Then, once everyone has figured it out, they come out with another update. This way, iOS always seems to be super simple and everyone loves it. A contrast to this way is what Samsung has done with Android and their TouchWiz. They have tried to have the most features from the very beginning at all costs, thinking that it's the best way to do it and everyone wants the most features. Unfortunately, this lets their devices to lag more over time or even instantly, people to become overwhelmed with all the features or they just don't want a cluttered operating system. So, as time progresses, people become more and more tech-savvy with each thing that they learn, mostly. Now, let's take a look at hardware. Apart from Apple optimizing their software to compensate for the lack of hardware, internal specs that is, Apple has managed to find the sweet spot for how to design their devices. They take into account what people say they want, what the competition has done and what has worked for them, and what has worked for Apple in the past, or what they believe is a beneficial change for the future. Apple has changed charging cables a while back, if you remember, from the long pinned, pinned charging cable to the shorter lightning cable. This change proved to be a nuisance at first, but over time everyone got used to it and it's all pretty much fine now. Now Apple's looking to do the same with the headphone jack, or rumors say. Apple has correctly chosen what the average, non-techy person would want in regards to having devices that feel nice in the hand and what other companies have rushed to do so, which makes Apple more thoughtful and caring to how the devices feel, which leads to their popularity. Finally, now this one isn't more of what Apple did right, but more how they got lucky. Google opened Android up to every manufacturer that wanted it, causing fragmentation, especially over time, as you can see how updates get pushed out. And each manufacturer cuts different corners and does different things with their devices, causing some users to hate Android slash one specific OEM, and that consumer to turn to another operating system. So over time, as Apple, Apple kept their operating system solely theirs with controlling everything, they built a stable, reliable, predictable brand. People started flocking to it and didn't really change once it caught on that Apple was considered premium, the best, and people bandwagoned and kind of kept away from Android because they didn't know what they were going to get every single time. Hopefully you learned something from the video. If you enjoyed it and want more informationals like it in the future, be sure to let me know either by commenting or subscribing, or if you want, liking the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel, and I will see you in the next video.